That was wrong. <laughs> if I had feelings, I'd be hurt. I'm so wrong. I wanted, actually, I, I don't really write jokes and tell comedy. I actually come up here and tell stories about my life. And, uh, and usually I get a laugh. I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> it reflects upon me, but I want to tell you uh, when I learned that my mother was white. Look, see, I didn't always know that. See, that's funny to you that my mother's white. It's fucked up, man. <laughs> so I was, I was four years old. I was, I was standing outside. I was playing. And this old lady, like 90, 150 years old, she walked up to me and, and she said, you little half black, little half white kids are so beautiful. And she walked away. And at four years old, I'm saying, what the fuck was that about? I, what the hell? I had no idea. So I ran in the house and I said, Mommy, are you white? And she said, well, well yeah. And I turned to my older sister, Matt, I said, are you white too? And she said, why? I said, well, I didn't know we were harboring white people. I didn't know. We, we were harboring white people in the hood. I didn't know that. So I didn't even know how many white people in this house. That's what I wanted to know. So I said, she said, no, no, I'm really, really light-skinned. I said, oh, okay, well, what about our other sister, Dorothy? Is she white? She said, no, no, she's really, really light-skinned, too. I said, okay, so we're all really, really light-skinned because mommy's white and daddy's black. And she said, well, mommy's white and both our daddies are black. You got another daddy? I was freaking out. You know, now I found out my mother's white and my, my sister has two daddies, you know? And I'm thinking she got two, two birthdays, two Christmases, two Thanksgivings, this, this, this. I'm freaking out. That old lady messed my life up, you know? She dead now, though. Well, she was 150 when I met her. She dead. <laughs> and, and since then, I've learned that, you know, it's hard being mixed, man. Yeah. Because uh, the white people don't like you because you're dark. Black people don't like you because you're light. And Latinos don't like you because you don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Let's be honest. Half the people in here thought I was Puerto Rican when I walked on the stage. Like, what the fuck is a Puerto Rican doing in Minnesota? Because you know? when you mix something with white, you do get a Latino. <laughs> That's how it is. Yeah. If, you mix, if you mix a black person with a white, you get, you get a Puerto Rican. And you mix a Native American with a white, you get a Mexican. And if you, if you mix an Indian from India with a white, you get a Dominican. Either, either way, you get a good baseball player. <laughs> Either way, you're going to be an all-star team, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Two baseball players go out there and do it. Um, but it, it, it is, it's, it's weird when you, when you mix like that. And I was with my son, and uh, my son asked me, he said, Daddy, what is a DWB? And I wasn't ready to answer that question, man. Uh, it's probably some of you guys know. A DWB is when you get caught driving while black. Yeah, see, he didn't know. It's wild. <laughs> you can get caught doing that shit? <laughs> Take the back roads, brother. <laughs> but, uh, and I explained to my son what that means, and he, said, he looked at me and he said, well, why don't you just pretend you're Mexican? Because I don't want to get deported. What the hell is, you know, kids don't know nothing <laughs> nowadays. Watch the news, son. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's been an experience, though, being mixed, you know. Uh, I, I guess I, I passed for too many different things, you know. I mean, that's one of the best things about being mixed is that you look like a lot of different things. And one of the worst things about being mixed is you look like a lot of different things, you know. And I get pulled over for being anything at this point. And terrorists, they don't know. They don't know if I should be deported or if I got a shoot bomb. They don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> they don't know, you know. And I show up at the airport, I take my shoes off just right when I walk in because I'm getting checked, you know. I know. If they're looking for an Afghanistan, I'm getting checked. You know, if they're looking for a Mexican, I'm getting checked. If they're looking for an Indian, dots or feathers, I'm getting checked. You know, that's a, that's a hard life. <laughs> I don't know. I, what's really weird about mix is, is, is racism. I don't understand that at all. Well, I, how can I? What, am I going to be mad at myself? What? I'm going to hate my people for enslaving my people and stealing my people's land? That's too much hate for one person to hold in your heart. You know? And why hate somebody for the color of their skin? If you get to know them, they give you so many other reasons to hate them, you know? <laughs> it's just lazy. <laughs> I got, a, I got a, an Indian friend, his wife, I hate her. I'm talking dots, not feathers. I can't stand, what, what I say? I'm sorry, I, I, I can't stand this woman, but I get through the day by pretending that that dot on her forehead is a sniper rifle aiming at her. <laughs> and it gets me through the days. <laughs> you do what you gotta do <laughs> without being me, you know? Like, I got a white friend, he's a, he's a good guy, but when he gets on my nerves, I take him to the beach and watch him burn. <laughs> <You know? laughs> if I'm real mad, I come back three days later and watch him peel. You know, that's... <laughs> 
That's the kind of person I am. <laughs> it's fucked up. That's wrong. <laughs> I don't know, right? That's, that's all I want to talk about is, you know, how, how it's been for me, you know, being all, all these different, you know. And the people always think that I'm Mexican or, or Latino, and they stop me right away, and especially Latinos. They just start, start talking Spanish, and they go, da, 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 da. I don't know what the fuck, dog. And they keep going like I'm pretending I don't know what the fuck they're saying. I really I don't know. I had a woman argue with me about it. No, you're from, oh, no, I'm not. She, you're from Venezuela. Bitch, I know where that, that's at. It's south of the border. I'm not from south of the border. So please, stop this. And she just argued me the whole time. So now I'm learning Spanish. I can just fuck with people, <laughs> you know? <laughs> just, 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 just mess with them. The worst thing I did to mess with somebody was uh, I didn't even say a word. I was on the elevator. I was in Chicago, and a woman got on the elevator with me, and I was in the Sears Tower. She went in the corner, and she grabbed a person like this, you know, and, and I wanted to say a lot of stuff, and I just looked at her, and I went, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> and I stared at her for the rest of the ride up. That 104 squad just stared at her. When we got to the top of that tower, her purse was the last thing on her mind. In fact, when I stole her purse, she was glad that's all I did. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching Big Wheel. Enjoy your night.